Hi, I'm Alejandro Hoyos and today we're taking a close look at one of the demos for Meteor Lake. And with us to talk a little bit more about it, we have Chuck. Hey Chuck, how's it going? Hey Alex, how's it going? Doing great. So you talked about Meteor Lake. One of the greatest things about Meteor Lake is that new graphics tile that's inside. It really delivers next generation performance and something you'd really expect to come from a discrete graphics card, but you're getting that amazing performance and something that's actually integrated right into the processor. Now to show that, we've got an application here, Dying Light 2. It's an amazing game. And if we look on the side over here, you can see where it says native. That's what the game looks like when we're rendering at 1080p, right? It looks good, we're getting good frame rates, but if you look on the side, it says XESS or XE Super Sampling. We're getting a much higher frame rate. You can see it's 1.6, 1.7 times higher. What we're doing, instead of rendering at 1080p, we're rendering at 720p, and then using AI to super sample, get higher clarity and upscale to 1080p. So we're getting that same visual clarity but a much higher frame rate. And as you can see, we're up to again, 1.7 times higher, getting that higher frame count. And if you're, if you're playing a game, frame count matters, millisecond response matters. This gives you that amazing gaming experience, while at the same time running on an integrated graphic solution, tremendous power savings, but still great gameplay. That's pretty smooth. And also, this is, uh, this is the first time that we have XESS and an embedded graphics, right? Integrated graphics. Correct. We, this is the first time. It's been in our discrete cards before. And again, it's not just Dying Light 2. We have over 80 titles that are currently supported by XESS. So you get this great gaming experience on multiple titles. Well, Chuck, thank you very much. This was great. Appreciate the time. Thanks, Alex. Thank you.